and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. A new dangerous trend in Germany, knife attacks. While in the United States or Mexico recent shootings are a threat to tourism, this threat is through knife attacks in Germany. Several passengers on board an ICE intercity train traveling between Regensburg and Nuremberg in Germany were hurt in a knife attack today, three seriously. The attack happened shortly before 9 a.m. Saturday morning on this ultra-modern fast train. A 27-year-old Syrian citizen got enraged for no apparent reason. He attacked passengers in his compartment. The train made an emergency stop at the next train station and police were able to arrest the attacker and first responders rushed injured passengers to a nearby hospital. German federal police responsible for safety on board trains is unable to make comments at this time. There is an ongoing trend in Germany with knife attacks, some deadly. The attack today was the reason for many in Germany to post hostile messages towards refugees in the country on Twitter, Telegram, and other social media, or chat groups. Just a week ago an attack in the old town in Dusseldorf, the center of entertainment and nightlife was the second attack within two weeks. No one was killed, but two 17 years old was lucky that two doctors were bystanders able to prevent deadly bleeding. After today's incident, long-distance trains were rerouted causing delays up to one hour. German Interior Minister Horst Seehofer was shocked and related his wish for those injured and those that witnessed the attack to recover soon. He thanked the police department for fast and safe action preventing any additional injuries or fatalities. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.